In this video, you will learn everything about JavaScript promises. I will show you what they are, why we need them, and how to use them with real code examples. By the end of this video, you will be writing promises like a pro. So what exactly is a promise? Think of it like ordering food online. When you place an order, you get a confirmation. That confirmation is a promise that your food will arrive. Right now, you don't have the food yet, but you will get it in the future. It can either succeed and you get your food, or it can fail and your orders get cancelled. That's exactly how JavaScript promises work. A promise is an object that represents something that will happen in the future. It has three states. Pending means waiting for the result. Fulfilled means it succeeded and rejected means it failed. Now let me show you how to create one. Alright, let's write our first promise. I will type const my promise equals new promise. Now inside the parenthesis, we write a function with two parameters, resolve and reject. So resolve is what we call when things work and reject is what we call when something goes wrong. Let me add some simple logic here. I will create a variable called success and set it to true. Now I will write an if statement. If success is true, I will call resolve and pass in a message like it worked. And in the else block, I will call reject with something failed. That's it. We just created a promise, but how do we actually use it? Let me show you. To use a promise, we need two methods, then for success and catch for errors. Let me type my promise dot then. Inside we write a function that receives the result. Whatever we pass to resolve will show up here in result. Now let's add catch for handling errors. I will type dot catch and write another function that receives the error. Simple as that. If the promise succeeds, then runs. If it fails, cast runs. Now let's make a more realistic example. Let me create a function called check age. It will take an age parameter. Inside, I will use set timeout to simulate a delay, like checking a database. Let's say one second. Now, inside the set timeout, if age is 18 or above, I will resolve with access granted. Otherwise, I will reject with too young. Let's use it. I will call check age 20 dot then and log the message. Then dot catch to handle the error. This will wait one second and then log access granted. If we change 20 to 15, it will log too young instead. Here's something cool. You can chain promises together. Each then can return a value and the next then receives it. Let me show you. I will create a simple function called get number. It returns a promise that resolves with the number 5. Now watch this. I will call get number dot then. In the first then, I will receive the number and multiply it by 2. Then I will add another then. This one receives the result from the previous then, which is 10. And I can keep going. Let me add one more then that receives 13. See how the data flows from one to the next. This is super useful when you need to do things in sequence. And if any step fails, you can catch it at the end with one catch. Sometimes you want to run multiple promises at the same time. For that we use promise.all. Let me create three simple promises. These are promises that resolve immediately with numbers. Now I will use promise.all and pass an array of these promises. Now let's add then. It gives us an array of all the results in the same order. This waits for all three to finish and then gives us all the results together. But remember, if even one promise fails, the whole thing fails and jumps to the catch block. Let me show you a real world example. I will create a function called fetch user that simulates getting user data. I will add a set timeout for one second to simulate network delay. Inside, if the ID exists, I will resolve with a user object, otherwise I will reject. Now let's use it. I will call fetch user1, dot then and log the username.
This is exactly how you would work with real APIs. The only difference is you would use the fetch function which already returns promises. So you just use then and catch directly. And that's it. You now know what promises are, how to create them with resolve and reject, how to use then and catch, how to chain them together and how to handle multiple promises with promise.all. Promises are everywhere in JavaScript so practice these examples and you will master them in no time. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.